Now it's time to visit a railroad club in Great Falls, Montana that gears up for a special show every year, and they get plenty of visitors to check out their handiwork. Members of the Great Falls, Montana Railroad Club appear to be just like any other train club, passionate about running trains and always looking for ways to improve their layouts. But what makes this group different from others is where they come together. No, not a basement, garage, backyard garden, or even a spare bedroom. This club meets each week at the Montana State Fairgrounds, a location that allows for long tracks and a large HO layout. The club room is pretty quiet throughout most of the year. Members are able to come and go as they please, work on improvements and enjoy their hobby in exchange for one small favor. For eight days at the end of July, the club opens the doors to over 60,000 fairgoers. It's payback time for the members, time to tease the train curious crowds and show off a year's worth of handiwork. They come back each year wanting to see what we've put in that's new and exciting and added since the last year that they were here. This year we've put in a new, new yard down the front of the layout. It's uh, six tracks, probably about 35 feet long. We've also lowered it about four and a half inches so it has a little better view for the kids when they come in and they can watch us switching trains. Other 2004 additions include a remodeled front facade with wood grain paneling and maple uprights and trim and an animated paper mill that helps bring the layout to life. A favorite attraction and permanent exhibit at the fair, the layout was originally constructed in the early 1960s. Built with a simple plywood design and minimal framing, the 10 by 8 foot project has evolved into a 12 by 72 foot intricate and animated display. The club has included many imaginative features that go well beyond the world of trains. The full mainline run, including downtown Dutton, Deer Lodge, Helena, and Great Falls, Montana, is 380 feet long, approximately six scale miles. Made up of over 3,000 feet of rail, 75,000 wood cross ties, 150 electrical blocks, 125 turnouts, and thousands of feet of electrical wire, the exhibit is the largest HO club layout in the state. Bob Klesig, one of the founding members of the club, estimates that he's put in hundreds of hours hand laying the individual wood ties and Code 100 nickel silver rails. Despite the years of wear and tear, his craftsmanship has withstood the test of time. In the early days, flex track came with fiber ties and they buckled and warped when it, and, and uh, a lot of temperature changes like we had here then and moisture, and we lay ballast with moisture, and it, it's better to lay a handle a track on wood ties. It stood up better. Although original handiwork of this type is disappearing in railroad circles, the fact that this layout has survived over 40 years and continues to entertain visitors fair after fair is testament to the members' concerns for protecting a bit of our railroad legacy. The club is also dedicated to preserving antique railroad memorabilia and artifacts. Remnants from railroad lines and depots have been salvaged and restored, not only for future generations to enjoy, but in honor of one group of people who return each July, the Montana State Fair visitors. For now, the arrangement seems to work and has benefited both sides. The fair has a permanent exhibit maintained year round and staffed in July. Members have a place to tinker on their layout and run their trains. The fair is quite an endeavor. It's uh, nine days long. We run 12 hours a day, 11 to 11. We generally have from three to five people operating the layout at any one time. Uh, the club owns the layout, but all the individual members bring their own um, trains and, and power. Uh, so we do a, an awful lot of running during that time period. And we put probably half the wear and tear we put on our trains is during the fair week. By the end of nine days, we're pretty well wiped out. And that's not counting the, the two months that we did in preparation before the fair, getting the layout up to snuff and you know, re redoing things here and, do, and there. All in all, it's a very long nine days. Uh, we've never not missed a year, and that's, most clubs can't say that. You know, we've been around a long time, 40, 45 years, and uh, it's, uh, it's quite a record, and we're very proud of that. <laughs>